Hello YouTubers and welcome to a new week. We have our suit Monday today, Motivation Monday. And thank you to everyone with the big support over the weekend over at the its head of the river on Saturday and for all the comments and whatnot, all the likes on the videos over the past week. Been some pretty decent videos, I would say. And there's Ed Grisdale as well. Oh dear. But this next week is all about getting back into pair with Robson into the learn to row pair. So that will be my motivation for this week. What is yours? Let me know in the comments below. But first things first, we have to go get ready for training. Oh yeah. Monday, 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 Monday. Breakfast, if you like. Charles, how are you feeling today about your row? Um, it, was, it was actually pretty good. Pretty good. Um, nice and live in the legs, quick spins. Um, surprised at actually how, how recovered I feel after eight head. Um, I was eight head for you. Did you enjoy it? How does it feel? I did actually really enjoy it. You're in, you're in like two seats. Yeah, no, that's it. Wait, what did he say? Two seat? Yeah. No, George is in two seat. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Billy Bow, <laughs> part of the bibs, hashtag bibs for life. And that's why a lot of people were asking why the bibs, and like I said in the other video, I think it was on Friday, the bibs were just a bit of fun as we were at a 2v. We were wearing the bibs because we were in 2v. And now it is time to fuel up because remember, food is fuel. We've got some delicious breaded egg toast. Ryan, what have you got today for breakfast? I've gone for the porridge, banana, and brown sugar option. Healthy. Another absolute delicious combination. I'm looking around the table, we've got some more breaded egg toast, some more porridge to fuel up. And then we're going to talk about trialing and what's coming up. Oh, yeah. Made it onto the dock here at Leander Club, talking about a little bit about trials. As 
we put away most of the boats after its head and trials are in the pairs now for GB trials so Robson and I in the pair and a few of the other guys in the pair that we'll probably see rowing with we saw them uh, George and Harry in the pair today rowing side by side with them then we get to go do a little bit at Dorney as well so what does trials entail for GB rowing trials so there's a uh, lots of trials throughout the year you have February trials which were cancelled this year due to the weather being terrible you have April trials this is coming the trials coming up which is the final trials you have uh, December trials which are a selection and they can vary what you're doing there you have November trials as well which everyone's invited and usually that one's a 2k on the air and a 5k on the water but April trials is a side-by-side -side race stuff at Cavisham so you go and do a time trial to get a rank and then you're set into semi-finals and you go into the final so if usually over two days you do your time trial and then a semi on one day and a final on the next day but for now for the next few weeks that is my reason for motivation is getting the pair going as fast as possible with Robson in the learn to row pair seeing how we compare to the other guys we've got George and Harry here who have been doing very well at trials so it's quite good to have them here to compare ourselves to but as always you never want to leave your best performances on the training pitch if it were on this river you want to well we, we're doing trials at Cavisham at the GB Rowing Training Centre so that's where we want to have our fastest performance our fastest 2k row and that will be it for that so we've got an ergo to do later on coming up and then we'll talk a little bit more about trials let me know if you have any other questions about trials themselves but now it's time to get on the airport hello youtubers and we've made it to the crew room after a lovely erg a little bit warm getting the heart rate going getting used to the erg again after a lovely week in the eight but we're going to Fuel with fuel wolf this time, yeah, <laughs> and then yeah, we're going to talk to Robson. Oh, is that right, Robson? Hello, YouTuber. Oh, you. And we have made it outside of the club for another day. The weather has certainly picked up, even though we're still getting ice in the mornings. We're getting beautiful, beautiful blue skies and warm weather. So spring is certainly coming. Hopefully. It stays warm. We're heading to Dorney later on in this week so we can prep for trials in the next couple of weeks. So hopefully it doesn't get too cold or too windy so we can get some real good techers changes and real good rowing prep there. But like I said, a little bit of a discussion about trials and I mentioned earlier how there's many trials throughout the year. And so basically the trials process for the GB rowing team is, so it's a, it rides the line between giving everybody a chance of proving themselves and showing themselves, but also making sure that the people who are the fastest get to do well as well. So like the guys at Cavisham, they train for, like they don't exactly train for trials. Trials just happen for the year, but they're also obviously very strong, very talented guys. So they should do well at trials. And then you've got guys like myself and guys here at Leander training and we get to do different things like taper for trials and really go for trials. Then you have other uh, universities, other clubs that go for other events. Like you've got Just Henley, or so I say Just Henley, you've got only Henley, the taper for or peak for, or other events as well. But here at the Leander Club, we like to, but here at Leander, a lot of the idea is to get people to Cavisham. So get good at rowing in the pairs, get good at rowing in general, so hopefully we can take that into the team if we were to make it. But that will be it for today's video. Finished off with a little bit of an upper body session in the gym. I was trying, we had a discussion with the guys about your preferred day for upper body. So if say you're doing four sessions of weights a week, I would like to do, a, say, I would like to finish the week on an upper body day, like do a Friday upper body day, because upper body day on a Friday is sweet. Or some of the guys say, oh, I prefer to do it on a Monday because it starts the week off right. It starts your motivation Monday, starts your week off right. So let me know in the comments below what you think when you would rather do upper body sessions, lower body sessions, if at all, any body sessions. And we have the all-in-ones. 
getting packaged up in the next couple of days and sent out to you guys. Hopefully, fingers crossed, the people in the UK will be able to get theirs by the end of the week and then as you live farther afield next week and so on. And the shakers should be on their way now and I'll hopefully get them next week and post them out too. So that will be it for today's video, Yam Squad. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Little bit of a chill one on this Motivation Monday. Like I said earlier, I've got my reason to be motivated this week. What is yours? And as always, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button and have a good one.